So, first of all, we are going to go around the table and we are going to brainstorm. We're going to talk about all the things that, uh, that we uh, don't like about bullies in the real world. And uh, we will use that information to um, inspire and form our authority. Anybody, anybody have a thing? Yeah, I feel like you gotta there think are go. so many things. Yeah, I know, but you gotta pick one. All you right, gotta pick uh, one. Uh, celebrating lazy thinking drives me crazy. Mm. Like that, like oh, that, okay. that. Um, if there was a bully who celebrated lazy thinking, how would that manifest itself? I love that. I like, love like celebrating first, first lazy thinking. First instinct is right. Whatever Great. you, like never second guess. Galileo is, is right, Galileo is right, Galileo is right, Galileo is right. No, 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 the sun is not the f***ing center of the solar system. Put him in jail. Boil him in oil, kick him out of the church, he's done. Well, actually, some people say <laughs> the sun is not the center <laughs> of the solar system. You saw, um, I just got sun splained. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we would call it like, that sounds like a form of absolutism. Or like, or like yeah. obdurate, uh, Hubris. Co obdurate confidence. <laughs> Obdurate confidence. I like that. Um, a thing that 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 uh, that I see uh, bullies do all the time um, that makes me absolutely nuts. They were impervious to reason. Like, don't do that. It hurts. So it's almost like stop hitting yourself. I'm not hitting myself. You're hitting me. Right. No, you're not. Yeah. Is, um, it, is, it, oh, is it almost gaslighting? Gaslighting. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's yeah. I mean, it really is gaslighting. Do you have any thoughts? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, anonymity. Anonymity, great. The, the, the courage, uh, the, the the courage of cowardice. Going after friends and family. Oh, okay. Guilty by association, like, or like uh, just controlling, punish, punish con by controlling by threatening who you love. Um, so what do you what do you so think? So I I am not sure which is more helpful because I have a lot of like societal and systemic things I'm angry about, and then like my personal bully stuff is hard to work into a game like this because it was sort of like uh, a junior high school bully's ability to make you feel that they are right that you are ugly and stupid and nobody wants to be friends with you. From a, an authoritarian perspective, right? That's how, that it would be um, uh, having a physical ideal. Right. Yeah. So, an authority that has a, a yeah. standard to which everyone is expected to conform. And, yeah. gr and groupthink. Yeah. Group think, um, yeah. You guys, I got it. Yeah. This, <laughs> all right. Sweet. All I right. got Never it. Mind. This is great. Right, we're good. Um, no, this all is right. this is this is super. So, what we have here uh. is this. We have this icky. We have this, ick, we have this icky, horrible authority who rewards bad behavior. Is super unaccountable. Is really selfish. Uh, encourages you to inform on your friends and your family. Encourages groupthink and has set a standard that's difficult to uh, to uh, attain. Did right? we just build Nazi Germany? Well, I mean, or we built 1950s America. Okay. All right. So, um, can, we, has to, can we can we skip to Visage? Yeah, go. Yeah, it's because uh, just corporate, please. Okay, sure. <laughs> just yeah, just for a personal corporate. catharsis. This is for corporate. Me, yeah, that absolutely, and that makes sense. So this is yeah. so okay. So well that's played. actually that's actually really cool, right? This is a corporation, and they're trying to sell you something, right, or make you buy things so that you conform to one particular thing. It's slavery. It's a corporation that's selling people to other people, children, unwanted children, as workforce. Oh. Right? And that's their need. That's, that's their need. That's, that's awful. But listen, but listen. In that case, the victim is definitely humanity. The victim is absolutely humanity. Well, I yeah, think it depends on how we play. It depends on what we play. Yeah. If it's okay. history, that puts us in the role of we are young adults working in the system that sells people our same age into servitude. Because that, if, if I, it's, that if, is a story I will, I'm excited about telling. That like story. we're we're in we're in khakis and and pressed shirts as well and yeah. so, and but uh, but in, in the break rooms on the DL we're like this up you guys um, uh, because it's yeah, a different I, thing than we're going out to free people from a kennel or whatever. So uh, I think. Their vice is this green. This is the most political episode of the show yet, and it I can't cannot not, listen, wait okay, to okay, get so, the okay, hate okay, mail. Okay, so, so number one, it what, can't. What? Number one, it can't not be political. Yeah, yeah. Because that is what every like youth movement, every rebellion right, has right. always been yeah. somehow based in, on in, within politics. And also, the sun is the center of our solar system. <laughs>
All right, so. But is it um, absolutism or greed? Because I made a pitch for it being great as soon as we got corporate, but it does sound like they still might be more absolutist. Well, you know what? I also took, I, I put down history and humanity as victim, and I can also put down greed and absolutism as, as vice, and then we can find out together. Okay. What uh, over the first couple of, <laughs> We can find out over the yeah. first over the first couple yeah. of scenes. Like like. Well, what's we'll at the bottom out. of this toilet? I don't yeah. know. Let's yeah. find I out. I mean, like yeah, that's. Yeah. I think that's that. cool. That's cool. It's fun to find that stuff out, and it happens. Right, this happens every time you play a role playing game. You think you're going to be exploring right, right. one thing, and then you find out that you're actually exploring something different. Right. Okay, so now we need to find out what the authorities need is. I really like the idea that what this what the authority needs to do is uh, the authority needs more needs more kids. Yeah. So, um, I mean, so how do you make more kids? And, and there's a couple, like, all, all very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> is that really? That's how it works? So just okay, a little bit of the old downstairs, really downstairs, yeah. downstairs so. business. So the struggle for the authority is not that we've run out of them to, like, we've just run out of them. It might be to keep putting kids into its system. Yeah. If the authority wins, then for at least a generation, the kids are going to keep coming in. And, like, you guys and everyone you know and all of your siblings and all of that. So, as the authority, I'm going to take that. Somehow, this th this authority exerts control over the kids in its uh, in its world, and let's choose a science fiction element for that. So it could be something like in um, uh, in in Battle Royale, it's an exploding collar. In Logan's Run, it's a little crystal in your hand, right? I mean, th so this could be like super science fiction, and, and like right. I mean, it could be like uh, nanobots that live inside of you. A, a, uh, a state issued familiar. Yeah, well, but like for, uh, your. Uh, uh, Oh my gosh, your 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 PDA is always is always on, and it's but always are there it's always listening. Diary entries? Do you have to tell them yes, like there what are. you learned today yes. and what you don't like about yourself and what you're working on? And, and like yes, the, um, that's really good. oh god, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. How were you a bad agent today? Yeah, uh, Ma mandatory how could it be mandatory tomorrow? PDA with with uh, with scheduled check-ins. Right. Yeah. In addition to the PDA, there's you you also there's a a thing that you yeah. have to wear on your wrist uh -huh. and. Uh, uh, and you can't take this off. Okay. Uh, if you haven't done all of your check on check ins, yep. this thing gets uh, progressively tighter okay. and tighter, and so it starts cutting off your sleep. It starts cutting off your ability to use your hand. Yep. Yeah. So okay. And when great. you when you have uh, I don't know, let's say you can have a five star day. That's really great. Yeah. If you have like a two star day or lower, yeah. your journal entries are broadcast on a positive reinforcement channel, uh -huh. sort of like those newspapers you can buy at the gas station that have people that were busted. Uh, for drugs as mugshot newspapers oh, or whatever. Shaming. Public so shaming. Yours is public shaming. Yours is public, public shaming. shaming. I yeah. love so that. So if That's you if great. you bomb out, you have a bad day. There's a chance your neighbors can tune in and watch your diary entry, learn all about you and how you failed that day. So they can help lift you up the next oh, day. Oh man, I love that. And that 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 that, that, that works that works that works really public. well yeah. with the way that yeah. this authority is about conformity. Right. right. That's right. terrific. Yeah. I love it. And what uh, what's uh, yours? One more stop system of control. System of control. Yeah. I don't know, I'm tempted to say, like, I'm not sure if this is something we can smash or fight against or not, but I'm, I'm tempted to say that, like, uh, systems of control could somehow be, like, to reward lazy thinking, like, that there could be some kind of drug that they're giving people. If like, we were tied into the sleeping thing, too. Yeah, it lets you sleep. Like, they give you a drug that actually lets you sleep. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you have to that's behave. You have, you have to behave yeah. to sleep. Otherwise, you know, because again, you'll stay awake. You'll that be is, that easier is to. That is brutal. I like. So that's okay, great. but here's that's here's here's how that happens, though. All right, it's not overt. They have, over the course of generations, they have just worked this baseline addiction into into the entire population, so that you can't sleep without this thing that they give you. Basically, they're on they're on drugs. Yeah. They're on. Sure hope Amy's amb ambidextrous. Yeah. See, I was yeah. just thinking the yeah. resistance group should be called the left hand. Yeah. Like yeah. Who... That's great. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So there's yes. yeah. Um, and then there there's uh and then I'm just gonna put down drugs as the systems of as the systems of control. I would okay. Be funny too because left-handed people would then have an, a natural advantage. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's yeah. Go us. Like, oh. <laughs> and and it is hilarious that in this scenario the authority player is the only left-handed person. <laughs> Table. That's great. Um, and then I give you guys an exploit. Your exploit is, I don't know why this is turning out to be a thing, but your exploit is that you guys can sleep. To make it happen, um, 
you guys have actually built a little, it's like a little bug that you put in your ear and it does like frequency modulation or something right, right. like Some that. Some kind of like neurofeedback. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's your exploit is this little neurofeedback bug thing. Okay. Okay. Um, that you guys have, that you guys have developed. Let's go to your click. You guys are in a click. What holds you guys together? We're right-handed. <laughs> we love sleeping. <laughs> um, what if we were all supposed to be product, but we are, the three of us are part, or some, uh, we're defective in some way. We okay. can't be sold into service, so we have to work for the corporation. But, but see, they're still helping because they've given us jobs. They've given yeah. us yeah. a, no, that's a great. That's great. helping the community. Yeah. I love that. Okay. I really, really, I think that's super, super duper cool. All right, so now let's cast this and figure out what kind of players are going to, what, what kind of characters you're going to have uh, in this uh, in this story. So this is where we decide sort of like who, uh, like what your character archetypes are. The hardware hacker. The social engineer. Uh, uh, maybe one of you worked for oh, like, a, like, a, like a sociopathic suck up. You know the guy. Uh, the guy yeah, who, so that could be the guy who worked like maybe you yeah. worked for for one of the corporate or, officers. Or like super super wants to be, or is like a like a wingman for some for a corporate officer. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I'm the guy that gets the door for the guy. Underneath. Well, and you know what would be cool is if you want to be that guy, then you could have been like sent to defective as a punishment, mm -hmm. right? You're not defective. You were sent to defective as a punishment. Or insists he's not defective. So, insists he's not defective. Right. That's great. Right, right. But then while you were there, something changed that made you commit right. to the rebellion. Right. right. Is that it, the, the I don't belong here guy? Yeah, sure. <laughs> that yeah, that's type? great. I'm not even supposed to be here. You're Dante yeah. from Clerks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. The fat uh, friend. The fat friend. Terrific. Yeah. So. I tend to be sort of fascinated by reluctant rebels. Like, the person who maybe kind of wanted it to work for them, uh -huh. but like uh -huh. for some reason, like now they're having to come to terms with the. the maybe you're not that you're not that thrilled about being defective. All right, yeah. uh, and then that'll help you. And as you choose your convictions, yeah. your characters are going to come into sharp focus. Does this society, uh, the corporation, do they take teens like of all ages, yes. or is there like a okay? And I need to name the the corporation, and that corporation is going to help you. Um, dude, I got it. The name of of the of the authority is helping hand. Mm. And the rebellion uh, is the left hand. Right. Yeah. Um, so Matt, choose a conviction. Uh, that matches up with your with your, uh, with your I, 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 I was thinking at first it would be tough, just yeah. somebody who has like a tolerance for pain. Yes. But yes. then, in sort of thinking about the flip, thinking about selling out yep. fast, it also seemed so. I could go with tough. I could go with fast. Yeah. What do you? What your gut call? Tell me. Um, I think fast because you sound like someone who would sell out too efficient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, that sounds what, that, because yeah, that, yeah. that sounds like. Yeah, I'm gonna say fast. Right. Yeah. Because another thing that you that you think about is that like you sort of like. The thing that you sell out to is what you just don't want to be. Kelly Sue, what are you thinking? I immediately eliminated smart because that's the like we want to we want to subvert the trope, right? And yep. that, okay. like the 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 you know the the funny fat best friend who's really smarter than everybody. That's tired. Yeah. We don't yes. want to do that. Yeah, totally. I think I'm gonna go with cool. Yeah, because I was hoping I, you were gonna I, say that. I like her being cool. I like because you don't see that. You don't get yeah. to see her. Yeah. You don't get to see the yeah. fat girl who's really. F yeah. Cool. That's a super good idea. Okay, cool. So you're cool. Okay. You're cool. And then you're cool, you okay. sell out to trendy. Oh. <laughs> I am thinking Don't think too much. I can't be bad. I'm the I, if I'm the reluctant rebel. Yeah. I'm either tough and I have a temper or I just like I always I go to smart because I, I can something sell about out to bad, pedantic and you know, have a second. I, I think there's something about like bad and reluctant rebel that still works, like, you know, oppos oppositional defiant disorder, like like it just it's in you that could be fun how do you feel about being a character who was sent to helping hand by her parents and once i got there they rejected me <laughs> yeah <laughs> everything about this system sucks yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I will. I, I you go with bad. I never play this, and it sounds fun. Okay, yeah, super. And it's like it's great. delightful because, like, because you're Amy. Yeah, Amy's yeah. like, not you know, bad. <laughs> okay, great. Like, okay, cool. So your your conviction is bad. Bad. Your sellout is perverse. Now let's go to your motive. So you can choose altruism, optimism, 
Outrage, outrage, pride, or thrills. Take outrage. Matt claims outrage. <laughs> Matt, outrage sells out to wrathful. That works. So you stop being righteous oh, and just no. start being pissed. Oh, this is like okay. a, this is like this is like the evil Michael Scott. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> what okay. does pride sell out to? Pride sells out to arrogant. Uh, pride. Yeah. All right. Kelly C takes pride and sells out to arrogant. And all what's right. your motive? Uh, May I suggest thrills? It does seem like it'd be a good fit. But like if you just can't help yourself. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. it's the I only like that thing that I only feel good when I'm in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So thrills sells out to nihilistic. Oh, oh God! Do it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right. Do you want? Are you cool with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. And then the last thing we have is opportunity. Trusted. Sneaky. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Trusted sells out to believer. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Oh, that's terrible. Uh. Sneaky sells out to untrustworthy. And um, how does she stand up to things? Well, it's interesting. Because uh, there is an orphan trade on here. And it, it, yeah. like, my parents gave me to the corporation because they didn't want me. That just seemed like a... Yeah, then take that. Then take yeah. orphan. It sells out to helpless. You lose a sense of agency, which if I also end up nihilistic and perverse will be real interesting. Yeah. All right. So now you have your, uh, your M.O., all right, so this is uh, a set of skills or your jobs, and we can take something of this out of your, out of the, the casting uh, piece here, right? So you're the whatever girl or guy. So I think you had started to say that you were almost like the yes man, the wingman. Yeah, man, yeah, uh, like a, yeah, yeah like, you know, like, a, like, like a, like a helper. Um, what do you guys think? The thing that, that, that comes to mind for me is like, I am forever underestimated. Mm. Like no one in the authority. That's great. No, that's that's totally your MO. They keep underestimating you. Yeah, they just know like, oh, she's that fat chick. We can't even send her anywhere because she's hideous. Yeah. You know, and uh, but she's not. She's yeah. charming and she's cool. Yeah. No, that's rad. Do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause I, that's totally cool. Love it. Okay. What do you think? I'm wondering. Like, I I don't know quite how this fits in, but like the picture of the person that I'm creating, like. Uh -huh. I don't know, is my MO like the short fuse? Well, I think that's your disorder. Okay. That's your heroic fatal flaw, is that you have a short fuse. Okay. Right. My disorder is gonna be rage. Okay. Just that sort of like, it's the obsequiousness, is just, there's it's just, it's sociopathy. Where are you at, Kelly Sue? I think it, it's, uh, she loves these kids. So that, that enables her to stay in the resistance and fight against them. Uh huh. But it's a flaw because she can be, Manipulated by by what happens with the kids. Yeah, that, that, your empathy, your empathy would be what would undo you, like your empathy, like as crazy I thing of empathy as a disorder. Oh, I like, love yeah. empathy as a disorder okay, for her. Right, that, I right. completely buy that. Okay, I think my mo is probably going to be some kind of like, I I'm, I'm inclined towards the tech thing because I'm a th I'm a thrill seeker and and like I'm I'm just in this like to make trouble. Okay. Um, okay. So I need a mechanism for that. And it's either you, beating people up, I guess, or, or just getting into systems or... You can leave it open okay. and like in fate, to, to, like just declare it when okay. you want to use it. Cool. Okay. Oh, okay, now I know what my MO is. Sweet, okay. sweet. Okay. Uh, the next thing we do, uh, we have two things left to do before we start telling the story. Each one of you is going to define an authority figure. My, uh, my authority figure that I'm going to contribute yep. is... Um, uh, the pod mother. So oh, I, uh, yeah. I, I have a group of kids that I have to get ready for their uh, assignments, but uh, they they have a surrogate corporate mother, a woman who is their assigned pod mother. Oh, I can see her already. Oh, you guys, you guys get ready to you get ready to meet her. Oh, great. Okay. I don't think I'm ready. What do you think? Uh, well, I was thinking about our systems of control. A person who is doing the job of like t choosing who's publicly shamed today. There's got to be someone who's like well, there's head of information. There are probably informants. Or they're tattle, they're tattle tale. Or, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. or the host on the show that oh. reads all Billy of the Billy Bush all is stuff. alive and well and living in our dystopian future. Oh God. Hey, you know who had a real bad Tuesday? <laughs> Amy. <laughs> Just can't get out of her own way. Work hard um, on that today, Amy. Oh, um, we'll be right back. Uh, um, yeah, so. Uh, Extra. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, so like let's let's but so let's person let's personify that ideal in someone who who can interact with you guys. That's right. Like like it's like a clippy. 
I love that it's like clippy, but it's also like Jiminy Cricket and it can show up on a monitor next to you. It can be on the TV, it can be on the tablet, it can be on the PDA, it can be on the laptop screen. Is it uh, the little helping hand and it's, guy and it's, himself? It, maybe it's like... <laughs> yes, it's like Hamburger it's Helper. It's Hamburger Helper. But, like, but, it's, but it's like, it's your coach. Yeah. Yeah. The coach is showing up to like make uh, sure that you're, hand. That you're, yeah, that you're doing things, the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. coach is a little anthropomorphic hand with a little mouth on, yeah. on that right there. Uh, I had uh, disappearers. Just face the people who come and make people go away. So we're defective, like but we a, could wash out even like, further. They're like a cleaning crew, right? Right. right. And, and they're kind of constantly in like, you know, like, like, like blue jumpsuits and like blue helmets that kind of completely yeah. obscure their faces, just kind of always in the background. Like maybe they're doing landscaping. Maybe they're hosing someone off of the side of a wall. Uh, you know, like, like, yeah. like, you know, they're just kind of people moving in, moving out. They're just sort of the, uh, the quiet physical presence of the company protecting its self-interests. Yeah, so Ooh, I just want to, let's just, even, let's, just really. let's just come up with a name for them. I know what you're talking about. They're, um, the corporation is a helping hand and they, oh, duh, they're the helpers. Great. Okay. Yeah. Look for the helpers, okay. said Mr. Rogers. Look oh, for the helpers. Oh, no, it's terrifying. You son of a bitch. <laughs> He's trying to warn us. Ron, if you see them. <laughs> no, no, how dare you, how dare, how dare you pervert. Okay. No. All right, now the last thing you do is each of you asks the player to your left, who won't be me because I'm the authority. We're just pretending we don't see you. Yeah, okay. you will ask yourselves a friendship question. I guess my, my question I think sort of asks itself, like when was a time that I lost my shit on someone and you were like, yes. That ties into the question I wanted to ask. Great. But can I ask that? Can I answer your question with a with a question? Yes. Where did you hide the body? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is a fucking great but question. But now we have our relationship. So my question is. Oh, 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 can I can I say just please, something? please? Yeah. Why didn't you stop me? Oh. Why didn't you stop me? Maybe I didn't disagree with you, but I didn't want my hands to be dirty. <laughs> you help get handled. Yeah. So, where did, where I did have... you hide the body? It's okay. in a it's in a Foot Locker, in the Pod Mother's closet. So now we have a ticking clock, because oh. yeah. it's gonna start to smell. Why did you hide the body? Because I because of the empathy. I don't want them to get in trouble, and because I hate that Pod Mother. Um, uh, so I put a dead body in her closet. And there's a chance maybe she'll get blamed for it. Okay. Okay. All right. This is really, I'm getting a very clear picture of what's going on. And your friendship question. What are you going to give me for what I did for you? Whoa, cool friend shakedown. Like, I don't have much other than a temper. Like, I, I, you, well, can, you can employ it in whatever purpose you, you know. need. Like, if you need to send like, me off somewhere. But you're like gadgety, right? The day like will come. Will be sort of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If you need something, like I, I and we, we did, we left my MO open to sort of see, but yep. like I have some set of skills or something, and like yep. I owe you well, like, Turns certain, out you're a murderer. A certain, so. <laughs> a certain set of skills. Certain set of skills. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you right. we, 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 have, right. we have a pocket He had it coming. Your I'm name declaring. is. Oh, okay. he had it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. But I guess we should probably maybe figure out who as well. Oh, I we'll feel like I did that a helper. But yeah, like, yeah, it's a helper. It's definitely a helper. Okay. Um, so, have you given your characters names? Claire Visions. Claire <laughs> Visions, okay. Cahuengo Willoughby. <laughs> I got the idea when I was driving in today. Yeah, I kind of I kind of got that. Really? We have to... <laughs> I'm just calling you Willoughby. Fine. Willoughby. It's going to mess with my Jane Austen head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, what's your name? Uh, and my name... It's sci-fi, I'm 14, and my name is Octavia. Octa Octa <laughs> Octavia Pew Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Octavia Ray Gun. <laughs> yes, I'm, uh, my name pew is, pew, I'm... You pronounce it wrong, it's Pew Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on, of the Baltimore Pew Pews? <laughs> no, no. All right, I think we have our world and, and our basic setup. So uh, let's go ahead and get started.